I got into a fight with uh, uh, Stacy Dash one night, one time. Sure. And uh, we were it was at spin class. Uh, Bob from The Biggest Loser was the teacher. Random as fuck, right? So it crunch. This is back in the day. I put my stuff on the spin bike, and then I went to go do abs, and then I went back, and uh, and my stuff was off the spin bike on the ground over in front of another spin bike. And Stacy Dash was on my spin bike. Back in the day, Crunch only had like 15 spin bikes out of the out of the 50 they had that were like good, still good high end. I like to just invite the audience right now to make at the end of this make a super cut of the random shit Bert has said during this podcast. It's astonishing. And how my face gets redder as I drink. No, but it's this great. Podcast. But also how you act like it's totally normal. Like no. I, I, yeah. I got in a fight with Stacey. <laughs> so Bob from the Biggest Losers, of course. So Bob's Bob's a very inspirational dude. For and for real. Like the guy's guy legit knows how to connect with people. There's a few people that do that, but uh he's a he was a legit great coach, very great coach. So I go to Stacey Dash, I go, hey, my stuff is on that bike. And she's Stacey Dash has never had to use her words to to do to get anything, mm -hmm. you know. Like other than, can I have a coffee, please? And then everyone was like, "Sure, right. well, yeah, what size? What yeah. size? You're, you're gorgeous." So I said, "That was my spin bike." She goes, "No, it's mine." And I realized in that instant, I was dealing with someone that doesn't talk, that doesn't use words. Well, she doesn't have to persuade anybody to do anything, right? Her it's thing like, is, yeah. When I'm, women I'm, say, "I'm going to seduce him," you're just going to make yourself available. Yeah. There's no seduction. You just, a woman seducing you is standing in your eye line. <laughs> it's like when girls go like, let's go to his work. When they like, like your, your daughter's yeah. probably at the age where they, if they think a guy's cute, they just go to his job. Cause yeah. that's all they have to do. Yeah. That's Whereas it. We got to like do shit. I ran circles around her intellectually in a conversation about spin bikes and she just started crying because she had never used her words before. And she just, I watched it and I went, of, of course. And by the way, I was single at the time and I was super misogynistic. And, and I was like, of course, that's what you do. Of course, you don't have words. You can't, you've never taught, you're never taught to use words. You're going to cry. And then Bob was like, yo. Did you, were, you said that? Yeah. And Bob wow. goes, let it go. And I went, no, Bob, no. She took my spin bike, and, this and he is goes. In the middle of a spin class, by the way, there's no, still no, no, a spin no. class started. happening. People everyone's, are going, everyone's clipping in, everyone's warming up, everyone's hitting the watching. hill, and you're going like. And another thing, Stacy Dash. But here's the interesting thing: every one of these people in this group knew. Also, there's only 15 good spin bikes. Everyone knew the currency I was dealing in was spin bikes, mm -hmm. and that's what they dealt in every day. That's why they showed up early. We're talking to early, early people. And Bob only rode a one spin bike, the one at the front of the class. That's going to be the best spin bike there is, of course, right? Yeah. So I'm like, no, Bob, she took my spin bike. And you're watching people going, hey, man, it's fucked up. You don't st he, he called that bike because that's how everyone operated. And Bob was like, you get to pick the battles you want to fight. I think this isn't the one. And, and in a weird way, I kind of heard it like Bob had a great way of like, a great way of saying things that I understood. One time I was about to go to Thanksgiving and he was like, he was like, do you, we're in, the, we're in this, he goes, everyone out of the saddle, that means like stand up a pedal. He goes, do you want to go home this Thanksgiving and have everyone that you wanted to fuck want to fuck you? And I was like, in my head, I'm like, that's all I've ever wanted. And he was like, then stay out of that saddle. And I'm like, okay, I'll stay out of the saddle. Stay out of the saddle. Do you want to walk into the bar that you grew up going to and have everyone at college see you and go, God damn, you look good. I slept on that guy. Then stay out of the saddle. He spoke so sincerely to my heart that I stayed out of that saddle and I went home that thanksgiving and the hottest fucking chick two years older than me came up and goes you look good i was like mother fucking, fucking bob. bob fucking bob <laughs> fucking bob mm -hmm.